want to start off with credit being given to a website called Best Life, which is uh, what I'm currently in right now. Yes, you're actually reading off this screen. You know, fame does bring a lot of positives, a lot of money, wealth, fame. A lot of people know you, you know, get to connect with a lot of people and stuff like this. But there are a lot of downsides to it. And one of them that I'd like to mention the most is that if you make one mistake, it's just one mistake, and it can ruin your career, basically that way. So now, let's get on to it. You might want to understand why some of the celebrities don't want to take a selfie with you or just don't need the time for photographs and stuff like this. So the first one here being Prince Harry. Like many, like many members of the British royal family, has used his fame for good including bringing awareness to charitable organizations. He was born into this. So what else could he do but use this platform? That said, it's no wonder Harry has complicated feelings about the process considering the way his mother, Diana, Princess Diana, was killed. Well, for some of us who don't know how Princess Diana died, I can't bring you up to speed who Princess Diana is. She's possibly royal. How she died was apparently the paparazzi was allegedly involved in her death because to put it in detail was that she was in a high-speed car chase with the paparazzi who just wanted to take a few snapshots of her and you know the paparazzi are with celebrities they sneak in a few shots and the best photos win so I think being part of this family in this role, in this job, every single time I see a camera, every single time I see a click, every single time I see a flash, it takes me straight back. In that respect, it's the worst reminder of her life as opposed to the best. For stars who've been open about their mental issues, here are celebrities that have spoken about depression. Also bear in mind that some of these celebrities if you thought being famous would take away your anxiety, well, sometimes it actually makes your anxiety worse. Robert Pattinson. Yay. <laughs> yes, Edward. Definitely disliked in the spotlight during, definitely disliked the spotlight during his twilight days, but now things have shifted during the height of the franchise's popularity. Pattinson couldn't go to the grocery store, had paparazzi constantly waiting outside of his home, and described how lonely Faye made him. It's lovely now that mania is not so intense that people actually came up to him having very fond memories of Twilight. It's a really sweet thing. The scary part was that in the thick of it all, when it was very intense, now the intensity has just died down, it's just really warm memories. So for him, it's just something you can laugh at. George Clooney. Yes, the next private man. One of the most famous actors there is, and the fact you don't hear about him all the time is on purpose. Instead of living in Los Angeles, Clooney, his wife, Alma Clooney, and their two children live on secluded properties in England and Italy. Out of the spotlight, fame can be very dangerous because you can start to enjoy every part of it. You get to enjoy that part of it, I mean. And it's not the good part of what I do for a living. The good part of making films is the unpleasant part is the fame if you're not careful. For stars to double okay, that's a stuff. Selena Gomez, yes, the singer, had a lot to do with getting more attention for her personal life than at work in certain points in her career. It really took a toll while speaking with Amy Schumer. She can't, she was interviewing with Amy Schumer April 2020.
can't cough without it being trending news. The saddest part is she can't remember when it wasn't a case that kept her afloat that she'll know eventually it'll be someone else. She didn't mean it in a negative way. Her fame allowed her to talk about things that are important like mental health which could help others. A huge part of why I have a platform is why she can help people. She thinks it's okay with that magnitude. She's not really okay with it. But she's going to say she is because it's only worth it. So she's saying that she's okay about it. I have no idea exactly. She said she's okay about it because why? Because she is, she's also using her fame for good, basically like that. Mm -hmm. Harrison Ford played one of the most iconic characters of all times. Han Solo, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, all his series, but he, he yeah, but his household name he didn't want it to be about the fame. He even stated there's nothing good about being famous. You always think if I'm successful, I'll have the opportunities. You never figure the cost of fame will be the loss of privacy. That's incalculable. What a burden that is for anybody. It was anticipated and I've never enjoyed it. You can get the table you want in a restaurant. You get your doctor's appointment. But what's that worth? Nothing. He just wanted to be an actor. Success has been giving him options and he's grateful for that. He just didn't want to become rich and famous. He did it because it was his passion. Billie Eilish. Yes. Yes, the one singer everyone's simping over. <laughs> the one star who's facing a lot of scrutiny right now is 18 year old singer Billie Eilish. She hasn't always loved the spotlight. Well, I was surprised she didn't like the spotlight. I like being famous, but I used to hate it. I hated doing press. I hated everything I recognized. I hated kind of everything I had to do with it. There's a lot of fame, and that's just gross. And horrible, and just miserable. But she said she doesn't want to focus on the negative anymore. She's very grateful for it, and it's so very rare. And she's very lucky, so she's done complaining about it. Here's the weekend. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. Oh. So. The huge part of his aspect wasn't his. Huge part in celebrity. So he wasn't huge about his aspect of this job. Sorry about that. Early in his career, he had his old distinctive hairstyle. He bought new cars, he had a great car with his old hair and was hard. Now it's a breeze because he always puts on the hat and life is a hundred times better. He respects the paparazzi, one of the very few celebrities who respect the paparazzi for their job. He's got no personal issues with them. Luckily, his career is just putting out the hits and interacting with the fans. He doesn't need pictures of himself being generated all the time. He does a ton of interviews also. Do he, okay, he avoids interviews, I mean. Thinking that he would vomit because of the amount of nervousness. Emma Stone. Yeah, she starred alongside Andrew Garfield. She struggled with anxiety and panic attacks since childhood. So when her career started taking off, some of the issues she's been dealing with came roaring back. Losing her non anonymity after easy aid was like being seven years old. Seven years old all over again. She explained that some interviews, the common aspect of her job made her anxious. Before any interview, she had to sit with herself for five minutes, breathe, and get centered because she gets so nervous every time. She's been followed by the paparazzi in her bags. And during a couple of outings, her then boyfriend, Andrew Garfield, they found a good way of putting their fame to use writing message on charities and stay support by saying stay head over their faces. Yes, you never saw this one coming. Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, 
as he went through one most, he went through the most fame one can experience as a young child. Though he was cast as Harry Potter, it just led him to question his own emotions, cope with losing his own anonymity by drinking. He had to keep his personal life private. He didn't have Facebook or Twitter anymore because it makes things a lot easier. You don't have to go on Twitter and tell everybody what you're doing just to have a moment. Just to have a moment to yourself because no one takes that shit seriously. I told Sky News that he also noted that he doesn't attend events or premieres that he isn't involved in. In order to stay out of the spotlight, through it all, he's felt lucky that he does love acting and being on set. Even at his lowest part, he still loves the job very much. Yeah, a lot of things have happened to him. And, yeah, a lot of things happened to this guy, and to Daniel Radcliffe. In some cases, he even had freakouts on set. See, so, yeah. Singer and songwriter Sia was so determined not to become a celebrity, she spent much of her time in the spotlight concealing her face with an oversized wig. Good for her. For the billboard, if anyone besides famous people knew what it's like to be a famous person, they would never want to be famous. She explains that being around so many well-known fellow musicians through her songwriting led her to never want recognizability herself when cameras are around she tends to cover up you can still see Sia's face sometimes especially in recent years but she's handling face on her own terms daniel david lewis side note this guy here has recently retired if you quit acting there's a very good chance you could add to your collection of three academy awards then you clearly aren't in it for the attention that's what happened with him who was always a very private person not giving many interviews over the years is in the interview noted that he doesn't like to be in front of the camera unless he's acting said in an interview when he put out a statement but retiring specifically to stop him from going back on he knew it was uncharacteristic to put out a statement he did not but he did want to draw a line he didn't want to get sucked into another project all his life he is mouthed off about how you should stop acting and he doesn't know why it was different this time but the impulse to quit to root in me and I became a compulsion. Kira Knightley. She found it pretty horrific. I wish it was a Caribbean actress. I was trying to remember the other characters. Um, one of those characters who hated Jack Sparrow. Yeah, Orlando Bloom. She was playing his wife in the film. For late teens, she's not an extrovert. She found that level of scrutiny and her fame really hard. She's protective of the younger actress she works with now because of how harsh the world can be to them. It was traumatic. We can set up the rest of her career. So looking back, would I do anything different? No. She's unbelievably lucky. Her career is in a place where she can enjoy it and the level of fame, she has a level of fame that's much less intense, can deal with it, awesome. But at the same time, it's not so great, took years of therapy. Justin Bieber, yes. To all the lady fans out there, yep, there's a sad note. Doesn't like being famous, he just loves music. So, yes, he found his fame very hard, just like everybody else. At a young age, went through a very rough period, including legal issues, admitted to doing drugs, being unhealthy in his relationship by the time he was 19, went from a 13-year-old boy in a small town to being praised left and right by the world with millions, saying how much they loved him and how much, how great he was. And everyone did everything for him, so he, uh, even the fundamentals... So he never even learned the fundamentals of responsibility. Yikes. So at this point, he was 18, no skills in the real world, with millions of dollars and access to whatever he wanted. 
This is a scary concept for everyone. More recently. Whew. Yes. Okay, Megan Fox. Damn. There's sexism and sexualization from the media during the time her career was taken off. It's no surprise she wasn't in huge on being a star. What people don't realize is that fame, whatever your worst experience in high school, when you were being bullied by those 10 kids in high school, fame is that but on a global scale. You're bullied by millions of people constantly. Yeah, you sometimes get the haters and sometimes uh, what you got, the perverts. Stalkers, those kind of people. She opened up further about her experience during a conversation with Jennifer's body. Oh, it's one of those horror films. I think I had a genuine psychological breakdown to the point where I wanted nothing to do. Yeah, we've all been there. She didn't want to be seen. She didn't want to take a photo, do a magazine, a carpet walk. She didn't want to be seen in public at all because of the fear and the belief, the absolute certainty that she could be mocked, spat at, or someone was going to yell at me, someone was going to stone me, and then somebody was going to savage her for just being out. Dave Chappelle, side note, this guy actually flew all the way to South Africa just to have some peace in mind. Yeah, he felt discontent despite his success because fame, yeah, not so much for getting a plane in Africa. Fame's not that kind of scary, but is fame a horrifying concept when it's aimed at you, you know? Yeah, he's, he, he did explain that fame is a great thing when you have it at somebody else, but if it's aimed right at you, it becomes scary. So at the end of the day, you don't have that much control of it, and you just try to conduct yourself as best as you can. On a side note, again, explaining what being famous is. So basically what happens is, no one sees you as a human being anymore. They see you as greater than a human being. And so you cannot possibly make a mistake. You become worshipped. People start simping over you. People start loving you. People, you know, you can't have time to yourself. They'll even have, uh, they even want you to uh, spend, like, what, five, five, like, at least uh, a few seconds with them and it'll be worth it. Charlene Woodley. She's fine with the normal F and C words, but... Famous and celebrity are off limits in a book. They are nasty words. Wow. The fame word is hard for her because there's separation between her and everybody else. Yeah, you can't connect with people the way you really want to. You have to connect with people using your, your own status, your brand name, everything. If you're a household name, people recognize you by that, and you have to use that everywhere you go. And that's pretty much, that's pretty bad. She says, she feels like the word alone is so stigmatized. There's so many connotations associated with that. She refused to even acknowledge it. She even added a turning point that she visited Indonesia and realized people were pointing cameras instead of the show that they were attending. She didn't have to agree with the definition, but she should acknowledge that reality that's the reality of her life. And the last star was Sienna Miller. She has a tabloid fixture at the beginning of her career that's... And thanks to her style and relationship with Jude Law, the worst part... Oh, Jude Law. Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, Jude Law is the... Actor who starred alongside Robert Day, wait, Robert Downey Jr. in Captain Sh Sherlock Holmes, I mean. He was Dr. Watson. That's the person they were talking about. Her voicemails were hacked by a tabloid. She recognizes that good came with the bad. Some good came with the bad. 
She had experiences she couldn't dream of, but the experience that she had with it, it's not worth for her. It's way too intense. She said that she wishes that she made it as an actor before in It Girl. There were moments where she, she was incredibly jealous and it didn't suit her. She's terrible at it. And that was it. The other celebrities that were supposed to have been mentioned here. Um, Kristen Stewart was supposed to have been mentioned here because she found Hollywood incredibly sexist. And at the time, it took a toll on her and, yeah, and everything in between. So, yeah, that's been it. All right, see ya.